Hello everybody, welcome to another segment of Barely Inbounds. Hey Dave, kind of a sad day here in Scotland as the sun goes down. Nah, I don't think so. Hey Sal, you know, all this talk about the, the, the old guys and everything, well I'm saying, hey, hats off to the bald guys. Stuart Sink. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? It only ruined the best story in sports probably of this decade so uh, or yeah two decades. maybe this half century <laughs> of the century so you know i'll tell you uh, uh tom watson had a glorious 71 holes uh the last hole he actually told us in the media that he had a terrific uh, second shot it just didn't stop went over the green well, that you know. the, that's that summed up that encapsulated the essence of of Link's golf right there here the guy hits a shot which he thinks is absolutely perfect, and he just sits there and watches as it scoots through the green and sets up the bogey. I mean, it's, that's that's the name of the game there. And he said it too in the media conference about, uh, you know, you can look back, anybody in the field can look back at any number of good and bad bounces that they got through the course of 72 holes. Yeah. You know what? I'll tell you. You do give uh, Stuart Sink, uh, you know, some Kato's for doing the whole thing. You know, uh, he's been out here for since 1997. Uh, this was his 352nd uh, PGA Tour start, first major victory, and basically it's almost a decade since he missed that little putt at uh, Southern Hills, uh, which could have uh, got him in the playoff for the U.S. Open. Well, it was, uh, you know, amazing to sit there and watch the thing, and there are all these other storylines through the course of the week. You know, you got Tiger li missing the cut. You got the whole Watson thing going on. You have people, you know, watching the expectant father, uh, Ross Fisher, uh, Lee Westwood, everybody in England hoping that he's going to pull through there. And where's Stuart Sink? You know, he's just plodding along, doing his thing, and, and finally, you know, makes that clutch putt when he had to do it uh, on the 72nd hole. How do you think I feel? I had a ticket, a 50-pound ticket, at 33 to 1 for Lee Westwood. How do you think I felt? I had mixed emotions because I wanted to see Watson win, but I wanted to see, you know, Lee West I don't know what I wanted to see. You know, $2,500, <laughs> Tom Watson winning, boy, that's a, that's a hard, uh, you know, call there. Yeah, no question. So but it, was, it was highly entertaining. I mean, just no two ways about it. And, uh, you know, Stuart Sink, certainly a deserving uh, a champion. Uh, you know, anybody who survived that test, hats off to him, like I said. You know, I'll tell you, you look at Stuart Sink, and this is a six PGA Tour victory compared to, you know, Tom, Tom Watson's won eight major championships. But Stuart Sink's won $26 million. He's 10th on the all-time, you know, PGA Tour list. He is definitely, you know, one of the uh, guys in our generation uh, that's been on the PGA Tour. Do you think that this is going to jumpstart and uh, make things a lot better for him? Oh, I, I think so, definitely. I mean, he's been one of the great underachievers out there. I, I, I remember the guy in 95 when he was, uh, you know, an all-everything coming out of Georgia Tech. He was, uh, you know, the player of the year, uh, big guy, all kinds of talent, uh, and, you know, he just has never lived up to the expectations. And still a fairly young guy, um, you know, particularly in light of what we saw Watson do. Uh, hey, he, he may have five majors ahead of him now. Uh, he's got the talent, certainly. He's got the talent. This gets him off to a good start uh, on doing that. Well, he's your Dave, first Twittering major champion, too. Yeah. Dave, it's been a wonderful week in Scotland. You know, you could just see over here the scenery. It's one of the prettiest places in the world. I wish you were here and things along those lines. But, uh, you know, we're uh, off to St. Andrews uh, uh, for next year. I'm off to Ireland so I can have a couple of days at R&R &R and play a little golf. And, uh, you know, anything else. Low into the wind, Sal. Low Stay into low the wind. Stay low into the wind. Stay low into the wind. So, who knows? Maybe People probably don't know. People don't know about your golf game, but you are the only person that I have ever played golf with who can keep talking through impact. Well, you know, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So, hey, I will tell you this. I'm a little overweight, but after seeing what Tom Watson did, it's given me some new energy and power to think, hey, even at 53, anything is possible if a 59-year-old can do what he did. Yep, and I, hey, I also, kudos, he wins one for the Gap Tooth guys, too. <laughs> okay? Okay. Dave, we'll talk to you in another edition of Barely Inbounds. Take care. See you, Sal.